Hello fellow Psycho MVC enthusiasts and welcome to the Master Psycho YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Visual Studio project to work with Psycho MVC. I'm going to be using <clears throat> Visual Studio 2012, just to make things difficult, and Psycho 7.2, which uses um, MVC 5.1. So let's get started <clears throat> and create a new project. There we go. So I've already installed a version of 7.2, which is this one. I'm going to right click and scope to that so you don't need to see all the other stuff. I'm going to do file, new project, and I'm going to create uh, an empty ASP.NET MVC 5 project. Now I am not going to put that in the web root. I'm going to work outside the web root to keep all my stuff separate. There we go. I'm going to call it VS project. And there it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove a bunch of files. So I want to get rid of the default web config because it's going to overwrite Cycro's web config uh, and the default global.asax. So I'm going to get rid of them. Gone. Uh, and I'm going to copy in the web config and global asax from my project. Or rather from my website. So that's located here. There we go. Let's grab that web config. That's this is a Psycho implementation now, uh, and let's grab global as well. And paste both of them into the project. Uh, web config. It's quite obvious why I want this one. Uh, it's Psycho's one. Um, Global.asax. If you look at the top here, you'll see that it inherits Sitecore web application, whereas the default inherits System.http.web application or something like that. This does eventually inherit from the default, but it's important that you have that because Sitecore does a bunch of stuff. Okay, um, you'll notice there's a bit of a complaint here. So it's saying it can't find app config. Uh, it's the web config going, oh, I can't find your connection strings. So to stop that, uh, you may as well add a new folder, app config, uh, and I usually just copy in the connection strings as well from the website. So let's do that. Then you can transform them too in your project. Okay, so I've got Sitecore's web config. I shouldn't have any complaints now here if I save and rebuild possibly reopen it. There we go, no complaints. The next thing I want to do is add references. You need both Psycho kernel and Psycho MVC. Um, and I'm not going to add a reference to the bin folder of my website because obviously the location of the deployed website can change. Um, you might have installed a newer version of Psycho and you want to upgrade your project. So what I've done, or will do rather, is uh, in my project on the file system, here it is. I'm going to create a, a libraries folder. Now you don't have to create a libraries folder. You can use a, you know, a local a NuGet server, which is a bit fancier. You can do a shared drive. This is just for ease, really. So I've created a libraries folder here. Uh, I'm going to copy in from my site the DLLs that I need. So that's Sitecore kernel, which is there, and MVC at the very least. So paste those in there. Uh, and now I'm going to add a reference in my project. So add a reference and locate the libraries and include them. Okay. And save and build. Now, theoretically, that should be everything you need to do in order to get IntelliSense to work, but let's try it. So in my views, I'm going to add a, uh, a layout. So uh, with Psycho MVC, a layout is just a CH8, C8 CSHTML file. Uh, I'm going to add one just like this. Call it main layout. Get rid of all of this stuff. Add a reference to Sitecore MVC. Now we might get a complaint here. No, good. Uh, if you if it does complain that it can't find Sitecore MVC, uh, build and clean your solution, restart Visual Studio. That usually works. Okay, uh, and we should also be able to use yes, the Sitecore specific helper. Okay, so that's all working, great. Uh, now I believe that this isn't going to work if we remove that. So let's try HTML site core, no. Uh, if you want to be able to work with IntelliSense without adding a using in here, I believe you can just put that in the web config. So this is the web config inside the views folder. Let's add namespace site core MVC. 
I might have to restart this. And HTML site core. Yeah, let's try restarting. Worst case, you can always put a using in there. Okay, I've restarted. Just waiting for the solution to open up. Let's go back into the main layout file and try again. So HTML Sitecore. There we go. Now that's working without having to use a using because I put it into the web config. <clears throat> the last thing you want to do, uh, and this isn't, well, the penultimate thing, uh, it's not specific to Sitecore MVC, um, but you can right click, provided you have rocks installed, you can right click on your project, go to Sitecore and choose connect to Sitecore uh, and choose your instance from the list. So mine is VS project. Uh, okay, so that solution is now tied to this instance of Sitecore here. Let's go to that. And all that means is when I create uh, view renderings, for example, uh, I go to add new item, choose the Sitecore menu, MVC. You see you have an option to create a partial here. When you create that partial because you are connected to Sitecore rocks, um, Sitecore will prompt you to create a corresponding file um, or corresponding item in the Sitecore tree. Uh, so we're almost done. Um, I mentioned at the start of this that I've created a 5.0 v Visual Studio project uh, where Sitecore is expecting 5.1. So if I were to deploy now, I'd overwrite a bunch of DLLs and there'd be loads of problems. So uh, you can just create the right version to start with, but I couldn't uh, without a kind of an update from Visual Studio. But what you can do is in NuGet, <coughs> uh, you can uninstall MVC. So uh, uninstall package. It's Microsoft ASP.NET uh, uh, MVC, and I'll get rid of it. Uh, and I can install package Microsoft ASP.NET MVC, and I can specify the version. I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, this I did actually have the correct version because I've already done this about 40 times, but pretend this is a zero. Um, so, or pretend that you need 5.2. So I do this. Uh, and it'll install uh, that version of MVC, but also all the dependencies you need. So now Sitecore 7.2 has all the DLLs that it's expecting. So the proof that all of this works is that I'm able to deploy this entire project over the top of a Sitecore instance and it shouldn't break. You can use TDS to do this. You can use post build scripts, PowerShell, whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go a bit low tech and use a published profile. I've created one here already. Um, if you don't know what a publish profile is, if you right click in your sort of toolbar area and enable one click publish here, I'll show you the settings. Uh, it lets you do things like uh, do a, a web deploy or a file system publish and things like that. So I, all I'm doing is saying, please copy all my files to the web root of, of that website. Uh, I'm gonna create a proof file in here. So let me just add a little file to show you that stuff is actually being moved over. Uh, I'm gonna create a JavaScript file call it testing. Uh, I'm going to click this publish to web. Uh, I've got a little problem with, with DLLs. It, it, did, it did publish. I'll show you. Prove it. Uh, we've got our testing JavaScript in here. And we've got our DLLs. So I'm looking for VS project. There it is. So this site is actually deploying over the top, or this project is deploying over the top of, of this site. Uh, now let's see whether that broke everything. So if I'd had the wrong DLL versions, I'd have issues. This is my site. Let's go back to the index. And we're hoping that'll load without complaining about DLL version mismatches anywhere. And it does. So our Visual Studio project was a success. If you want to contribute um, to the documentation associated with this video, you can go to psychocommunity.github.io forward slash docs. Uh, and you can do a pull request because it's all on GitHub um, and, and change the file. So if you want to add anything about uh, particular libraries messing things up or particular versions of Sitecore needing some extra steps, please do. Um, thank you for watching and enjoy Sitecore MVC.